Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about the ring opening of epoxides, this time in acidic conditions using weak nucleophiles. In the previous video, I talked about how this reaction proceeds uh, using strong nucleophiles in basic conditions, uh, usually a negatively charged nucleophile and, and a proton source. It was either present in the reaction or, or separate. In acid, now, uh, the reaction is ultimately going to have a similar outcome. The epoxide is going to react with a nucleophile and make a similar looking product, but we're talking about weaker nucleophiles. And these weaker nucleophiles are going to not necessarily be anions, but probably protic compounds that are themselves, you know, all in one nucleophile proton source and very likely the solvent of the reaction. <clears throat> or at least, you know, related. Uh, and in some cases, in some cases, these reactions, not all in some cases, in all cases, these reactions will need acid. The stronger nucleophiles are able to react with epoxides directly, but in case of a weaker nucleophile, the, epoxy, the reaction might be might not happen at all. It might be slow. Uh, and so, for example, if you take ethylene oxide and dissolve it in water or bubble it through water because ethylene oxide is a gas, it's going to react, but its reaction is going to be slow. But as soon as you add acids to the reaction, it's going to increase the rate of reaction and generate... Uh, generate the corresponding diol. And so what's going to happen, and I'll use the, the aqueous, uh, I'll use the, the, the acidic hydrolysis reaction to, to highlight what's going on here. Uh, but what happens is the epoxide gets protonated. And so now it doesn't just have ring strain, it's positively charged which, as we know, makes it that much more of a good nucleophile. And now, you know, the proton, the protonation happened first. We have a neutral nucleophile like water. And so uh, we still have this extra positive charge here. And ultimately, then, what we'll have is another water molecule because water is our solvent, so it's the most likely base, though you would certainly not be uh, wrong if you drew the, another epoxide molecule uh, taking that extra proton. In addition to water, uh, this reaction can work with alcohols. Uh, on a whole wide range of different alcohols. Oh, and I can't spell alcohols. <clears throat> and finally, uh, there's a variation of this that works with the hydrohalic acids to generate, can't spell, hydrohalic acids to generate uh, to, to generate um, uh, halo hydrants. So using HX, or X is chlorine or bromine or iodine, uh, you can get uh, substitute and uh, a halogen on there. And you'll notice that, that these situations are all a little bit different. They're all done in acidic conditions. They, they all require, or they're all in protic conditions, nucleophiles. Well, the, the, the halide nucleophiles are, are going to be strong nucleophiles, uh, but they wouldn't exist here without the acid. In the next video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the regioselectivity of these reactions. Thank you for watching.